Hey what's up guys, today I've been playing a bit of Watch Dogs 2 and I'm going to show you the secrets in Stanford Tower um, through the Scout X app you can get some extra followers while taking a selfie um, with yourself, with Marcus and the tower on it of course and there's also um, a secret up in the tower uh, which I'm going to show you just in a bit so let me run to the tower in a sec as you can see I'm taking a selfie right now with the tower just changing my position a bit as you can see in the camera app you can change between different um, views like the top for close uh, range uh, the mountains for uh, different ranges and portraits for uh, close range in your face uh, also you can change the brightness a bit and uh, the color making your it making it look warmer and colder stuff like that and if you make a photo doesn't matter with what settings you're gonna get extra dead sec followers which you want to have as much as possible and as you can see if you walk around the tower um, no I should be going to the other side I'm sorry um, but if you walk around the tower you can um, find a part where you can climb on so you can get upstairs on the tower you can't get very high but high enough and if you get high enough as you will see in a minute you will see a, a vent a ventilation shaft which you can open and in it you can deploy your RC jumper so you need to have completed the first mission in the game to get your RC jumper and also for this mission you will need your um, drone so you will need to have at least 75k um, and to uh, 3d print your, your drone and do that before you start this and this is an open world mission so it's not really starting a mission but you just have to go here um, let me get inside takes a bit of getting used to, to uh, controlling the RC jumper after having used the drone which has so much more possibilities um, let me hack this if you have played the previous Watch Dogs uh, games you will know this um, way of hacking you will just have to follow the lines I just solve a little puzzle with it it isn't even timed at this one yet because it's a relatively easy one let me pick up the RC jumper in a sec um, as you can see you can turn around these things and every line has to become blue so let me unlock as much as possible um, can I get the no I need to get down and to reach the cars and to um, um, to trigger what's under the cars because there's also a, a lock there yeah that's better so if you have unlocked um, the locks on both sides which I will be doing now I will show you guys how to do it and um, but if you do that you're going to have to use your drone to fly up to the tower which you will see in a minute as you can see it's a relatively easy puzzle you should be able to solve it very quickly and otherwise you can always look now what uh, what I'm doing so yeah it's um, a good practice because you need to get good at puzzles like this because there will probably be uh, puzzles like this but with times on them at least they did that in Watch Dogs 1 so I'm guessing they will do that too in Watch Dogs uh, 2 since it's a very effective way to test your skill and to make it a little harder because these puzzles are otherwise relatively very easy to complete as you can see I've unlocked all of these things now let me grab my drone and fly up there let's see if I can get high enough because there should be um, a part of the puzzle up here oh I'm out of range um, I need to get a bit higher just give me a second I will climb um, a bit higher and I will be able to reach that puzzle yeah we should be able to reach it now Um, yep there it is let me unlock each and every one of these so it's unlocked um, let me get down 
Oh wait, I forgot one of them. Sorry, I need to spin it one more time. Yeah, that should be do. That should do it. Um, yeah. Now the door is open, so you can just walk towards the door. It's on the other side of the tower. I will just run towards it. Which is a nice thing. They added like free reign to the game, so Marcus is a lot more capable of climbing and stuff like that. Uh, than Aiden. Aiden was obviously pretty old so he couldn't do this stuff like this anymore uh, but Mark, Marcus is really flexible really good at climbing make sure to buy the drone as soon as possible since it's useful for so many missions and it is such a nice thing to play with and to be able to scout around enemy places without physically having to go in there so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys next time.